Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video converting spare gloss to metal rough and substance painter. Recently, um, I started attempting to make skins for CS2 and uh, their workflow is metal rough. And I've also always been used to making skins in spec gloss, so you know, I either had to work in metal rough or convert to metal rough, but I decided I'd uh, do my normal workflow, then convert afterwards. And I thought, you, I thought I'd show you how I was doing that. So here you can see my skin that's made in the spec gloss workflow. So I've got these channels, diffuse, specular gloss, height, normal, and emissive. And that's pretty much your standard um, spec gloss uh, maps. And then what you're going to want to do for creating this conversion is add another, add another channel. So you just go to texture sets, add user zero. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we're going to make a specular pass through layer. So just add a paint layer to the top of your stack and then um, go to specular, change that to pass through and that will basically pass through all of the specular information onto this um, layer. And then on this layer you're going to make a anchor point. Now basically just um, store all of the specular data below this layer in that anchor. So above our pass through specular We've got another layer here, and this is basically just a, um, a fill, a fill layer. And then I'm just uh, turning on the diffuse, and then in the diffuse, I'm filling with the anchor point we just created, and we're referencing the specular channel. So that's basically taking all the specular information and putting it on the diffuse channel. So it will look like this when you turn it on, which. Obviously, doesn't look great when it's displayed in the spec gloss um, shader, but on metal rough shader, will look fine. And then I've also got a HSL on this diffuse, so you might need to slightly alter your use of your specular to make it look good in the metal rough, but you can fine tune that after you've finished. And then, so on this pass through, I've got a, um, a black mask. And I'm basically just going through and selecting all of my parts that are metal. And then any parts that I haven't, I can't color select. I'm just manually painting. So basically this mask will be everything that's metal on your, your project. And when I've made that mask, I'm just adding an another anchor point. So that's just um, storing that mask in an anchor. So on the next layer, we've got a um, layer that's converting the gloss to rough. So as you may know, gloss is the opposite of rough um, black and white values. So it's quite an easy uh, thing to do. So we basically just got a fill layer or a paint layer, sorry. And then the glossiness is set to pass through. And then we're going to filter on the layer that just inverts. So. It's just inverting the gloss information to rough. As you can see, if I turn it on and off, that's as intended. It will look the opposite in this shader, but yeah, that's right. The next uh, layer, we're just going to be creating the mask to show where the metal parts are and where the, the non-metal parts are. So you, you, you need that for the metal rough workflow. So this is where the user zero, like the additional texture set we added comes in. So as you can see my user zero, I've got this first layer that's just a fill. So then uh, the layer to all black. And then after that, I've got another fill set to fully white. And then in the, I'm just using the, I'm just using a mask and then a fill with the uh, mask we made earlier on this layer to define which parts are metal and which parts aren't, which parts aren't. And that's it for the layers. Now we have our layers created. I'm just going to um, show you how I export these uh, maps. 
so export textures. And then I've created this custom template. I'll show you how I've done that. So this is our yeah, well, CS2 from Specular. So these are the maps I'm exporting for CS2 Workshop. So I've got my diffuse, which is standard, just a diffuse. And then the alpha map of diffuse has um, our metal mask, which shows where the metal parts are. So that's our U0 we created earlier. So just drag that into your alpha, normals. I'll just go into our OpenGL, roughness to gloss, which is counterintuitive, but yeah, that's just how we've set it up. That's fine. AI just goes to mixer. So. That's fine. Um, we've got. Um, Sorry, that's that metal mask is that grayscale mask is uh, not used. Um, yeah, just ignore that. They've also got a um, a metal mask, so CS uses this in addition to this diffuse mask, which I'm not really sure why, but it's there. So this metal mask um, is just I use zero again in the RGB, and then I'll show you how I put these into the CS2 engine. Graham and the uh, uh, Counter-Strike 2 Workshop item editor. So I've, I've created a gunsmith finish. Um, and I've brought in my maps I've just created, so yeah, they're just mapped as, as per the names. So um, it's fairly self-explanatory. I'm not going to cover how to use this today, but maybe one day. And then, um, yeah, so we can preview what we've just done in game. So this is how our metal rough maps look in the e game. So I think it translates fairly well to the spec gloss finish we had in Substance Painter. And I'm pretty happy with that result. So yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, drop a comment or something. Uh, message you on Discord. Cheers.